with all the wonderful moves that Joe Douglas made over the offseason to improve this offense, expectations are high that Zach Wilson will take a big leap in year two. But are they realistic expectations? What are your expectations for, for a successful season for Zach Wilson? Let's discuss it. <laughs> channel and you like what you see please uh, subscribe also liking and sharing the content definitely helps I've been seeing a, a ton of material a ton of content come out re revolving around Zach Wilson and is he gonna make the big leap um, is he is he gonna is he gonna take the, the next big step but what is the next big step um, Last year, I mean, granted, he had no weapons. The, the Jets foolishly thought that Corey Davis was a wide receiver one um, two years ago, and we saw that definitely was, wasn't the case. So, I mean, and there was a ton of injuries in the, in the wide receiver room over the year. I mean, towards the end, he had nobody, but he was still able to have stretched together five games without an interception and um, was able to finish the year with nine touchdowns and um, 11 interceptions. Granted, he was out for, I believe, six games with a leg injury after during the Patriots game. So um, what, is, what is a realistic expectation? Because it, to me, it's gone all over the place. Here's a clip from Dan Orlovsky saying that that Zach Wilson could very well make the same jump that Patrick Mahomes did his second year in the NFL. Watch this. Leap, a second year in the offense that traditionally gets quarterbacks to play maybe a little bit better than their talent. If Zach Wilson is even remotely close talent-wise to what the second pick in the draft should be, we're talking a monster leap similar to the one that Patrick had four years ago. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because Salah did talk about the physicality. He also said that the mentality of Wilson has been a lot better. With I've heard that. Seat. I have heard that he has taken complete ownership of their organization this offseason. Well, let's take this into account. Patrick Mahomes barely played his first year. And then in his, his second year, he, he ended up throwing for 50 touchdowns. And do I expect that kind of a leap? I, I don't think so. Do uh, Of course, I would love it if... He had that kind of leap and would end up putting up the same production as Pat Mahomes. But um, to me, that's a, a little bit unrealistic. Yes, he, he's got great new weapons now. He's got Garrett Wilson. He's got Conklin and Azuma and um, Jeremy Rucker in the draft. And, of course, Brees Hall in the backfield. So J.D., of course, did an amazing job giving Zach the, tool, the full tools to now be able to succeed. But what's a realistic expectation for him? You know, I could, and the thing is, is that I think early on the Jets are going to run the ball early, early on, focus more on the running game, you know, so the receivers get a little more time to develop. And then, you know, as the year goes on, you know, you'll see, you start seeing more passes in the game. But um, for me, a realistic expectation on what a successful season will be for for uh, Zach probably I would say somewhere like 4,000 yards between 30 and 35 touchdowns that would be about two touchdowns a game if he threw 34 so I definitely think that's realistic and you know with with the weapons he has now barring injuries I don't see any way he couldn't do that. Now, getting 50 touchdowns is a little absurd, but I can definitely see about 35, you know, a stat like 35 touchdowns and maybe 12 to 15 interceptions, something like that. So, and throw for about 4,000 yards. I think that that is realistic and that can be done. You know, we have great young talent on this team that could really flourish. I mean, yeah, last year the Jets were 28th in scoring points, and that definitely needs to be approved upon. But 
you know, but Zach had no weapons last year. I mean, for, you know, for a stretch of time, pretty much every receiver was hurt. And, back, and towards the end of the year, he had pretty much a skeleton crew at wide receiver by the end of the year. So, you know, you have to take that into account. But does Zach look ready? Absolutely. We all seen the picture of him in the shorts and he, he definitely looks like he's filled out, especially his quads and his legs look really powerful, which which is great because he needs to withstand the pounding that he's, he's going to get in, in the NFL this year. But uh, with a better offensive line, he shouldn't, he shouldn't be hit as much as he was last year. So that's definitely something to look forward to. But um, I definitely was Zach the best this year. But I think we need to temper expectations just a little bit. You know, not say pump the brakes, but like tap the brakes. You know, keep keep it at 65 going down the highway and, and just enjoy the view, enjoy his progress because it looks like he is progressing. It looks like he is, you know, they say, you know, it's night and day from last year to this year what his mentality is. And I definitely think he could ha have a very successful season. But uh, again, you know, what a successful season is, is in the, the eye of the beholder. And that's why I'm asking you guys this question. What is, what would you consider a successful season for Zach Wilson? Statistically and, of course, the most important statistic in, in, is wins and losses. I'd really like to know your guys' opinions on that one and let me know in the comments what you guys think. What, what, what do you think is a successful season for Zach Wilson? Talk to you guys later. Go Jets.